Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking at the question Restore Sequence from November Long Challenge 2020. I'll quickly read out the problem statement. So we are given that Alice has a very complex machine. When fed with a sequence A1, A2, and so on till An, it produces a sequence B1, B2, and so on till Bn, where, where for each valid i, Bi is the largest index j such that Ai divides Aj. So since that Ai divides itself, such an index always exists. For example, if the machine is fed with an array A, which is 26534, it produces the output as 52345. So now in this question, we have been given a sequence B that was produced by the machine. We need to find an integer sequence A such that when it is fed into the machine, then the machine produces the output as sequence B. So basically, we are given a machine and we have to input an array A and the output is given as B. So for solving our question, we are given the array B and we need to find out the array A which could be fed in. So here we could have multiple solutions and uh, all of them would be accepted. Now we will quickly look into the input output format. So the first line contains the input T which is the number of test cases. Then for each test case, the first line contains an integer n. The second line contains n spaced integers which are the elements of the array b. So for, for the given array b, we need to give out a possible array a such that it can satisfy the condition given above. So the constraints and subtasks can be seen here. Now we quickly look into the sample test cases. So to understand this, So what we have to do is we are given this array B and we need to find the array A which can satisfy these outputs. For the first test case, we are given an array of 5 elements. Each element at index i represents the largest possible index of A on which the element present can be divided by index i. So to better understand this, we will look at the first element of array A. Here it is 2, so, so the largest possible index at which an element can be divided by this number is 5. So here we are given 5 in the first index. For the second one, since it is 6, there is no other element which it can divide. So this number itself is the largest possible number that it can divide and, and hence the element at index 2 for array b will be 2 itself. Now, looking at this 5, there is no other number of larger index which this number can divide. So, we will be putting 3 here since the element itself can divide it. Then, this, then again for this number 3, the same situation arises that there is no other number at a uh, larger index which it can divide. So, we will be putting in 4 here. Then, for this last one, again the same case arises and hence we will be having 5 here. So, so now looking at the second test case, we can see that all the elements are 4 here. So we will quickly look into this. The first element of array A is 2. The largest possible index which it can divide is 4. And hence we have 4 here in B. Same applies for this in element at second index. The largest possible index which it can divide is 4. So we have 4 again. Now again, looking at 3, the largest possible index which it can divide is 12. Hence, we will be putting 4 here. For the last element, there is no, there is no other index larger than 4 which can divide, it can divide. And hence, we will be putting the number itself. So, 12 divided by 12 would be the largest possible index. So, this was the basic explanation of all the test cases. Hope you were able to understand all of it. If there is any doubt, then you can post in the comment section down below. That's it for this question. Hope you have a good contest. Thank you.